Uh, I think my favourite match was when uh, we played against Red Bulls and we beat them for the first time, not my debut. My debut we lost 7-0, but when we played them the second time, I scored and had an assist in the game and it was the first time NYCFC had ever beaten the Red Bulls, so it was an important, probably a special match for me. Um, I think so, there was two against Montreal, so I, I'm not sure which one he's talking about, but I think probably, probably both of them are up there with the best ones I've scored. <laughs> this is a tough one. I think I'd have to take Gaetano Barardi because he always knows all the little things. I think even when we come in in the morning, he's got the fire going, and you know I think that'd be pretty useful to have him around. So him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think um, when I first went with NYCFC, I was injured at the time, so I was just able to watch, just watch them in training and watch them in games, and even that helped. You know, just trying to get in the right mindset and little things that I could do on the pitch that, that would help me and um, and then when I did start playing with them and starting to see some of their habits and um, some of the things that, little things that they do during the game you know it can make a big difference playing with players like that it's incredible um, so yeah I, I really appreciate my time with them and I le definitely learned a lot um, probably don't, I don't admit this to many people but I grew up a Liverpool fan so <laughs> that was my team growing up well, the best trainer I've ever trained with was Frank Lampard. I think watching him day in, day out, everything that he does on and off the pitch as well, it's, um, it's admirable, admirable really to see him doing that every day for the whole season as well, not just through time time spurts or anything like that. He was he was always on it every day in training and, and you know that you can see what, what made him so successful in his career and why that drove him so far. Um, and the the toughest in the league. Hardest to play against in the league. Um, play, is that a player or a team or I don't know. We'll, 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 go, we'll go team. We always have a tough time against West Brom. I think they they've always got a good side and a lot of good players, a lot of talent as well. Um, they always give us a, a tough match. So I'd probably say West Brom. <laughs> Um, is that response says it all? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, he has all the good things and all, all the bad things all together in one. I'd say definitely more good than bad. He's, I don't know, he's, he's a great teammate to have, you know, he's always making jokes and making people laugh and, you know, I feel like that's really important on the team and playing on the pitch, you know, he's going to give everything he's got. He's so passionate and he runs so much as well. Um, you know, he's an ideal teammate, so it's, it's great to be playing with him. I love it. I really like the grey and the pink one this year, I think um, it's really different to everything else I've seen and uh, I think the colour combination is really nice. Um, I've always been number 11 and number 11 wasn't available when I came so um, 22 was the probably closest thing to it, well not closest but more double, similar. Double yeah. Double. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he's helped me a lot learning about all the different details of the game and how you can make your game better bit by bit. And, you know, I think working under him, I've learned so much um, on the pitch about about the game and, you know, different movements that I can do. And, you know, there's, there's been so much that has helped me out. So um, I've been really grateful for that. And, um, yeah, no, it's, it's incredible to to be working with him, you know the likes of him. Again, it's I feel really grateful to be in this position and I'm just trying to learn as much as I can whilst I'm so young as well. Tough question really. I think the um, there's certain parts that are similar and certain parts that are not. I think obviously over here you have the, the atmospheres and you have all the different kinds of pressures from from teammates, from players, uh, from the, like the, the coaches and you know, I think with the fans as well, um, because there's so much at stake. There's no promotion relegation in the in the US, so we're having that here, you know, you can really see how much each game means to the team, and um, you know that 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 was the first thing that that kind of I realised coming over here was uh, the amount of pressure that comes around the football. You know, you don't just I I was I was grateful being in the US because I felt like I could just go out and express myself and play and and you know, I'll be happy like a little kid really but you know I think coming over here is it's really you know a, a step up in in that respect there's been a lot I think that a lot of stadiums here um, you, I, there's so many growing up that I used to watch like in the premiership and um, I mean even even going to like Stokes ground or something like that I think 
it's it's tough really everywhere we go i feel like there's always a good atmosphere i'm not sure if that's because the leeds united fans are or what but um it's hard i couldn't really pinpoint one specific stadium i don't think it's i think leeds united fans just make it make it a great atmosphere every time so